In case you missed it, Beyonce dropped a new album this past weekend, releasing Lemonade. The visual album is filled with celebrity appearances and weaved with powerful social justice commentary. But what's setting the internet on fire is speculation that the lyrics are about her own marriage and the suggestion of an affair. Here's ABC's chief business, economics, and technology correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. With one swing of the bat, was worst, looking jealous or crazy. Beyonce shattered expectations of her much anticipated album, Lemonade. Freedom, freedom, In an hour long visual spectacle this weekend on HBO. Let it be, baby. Jammed with guest appearances from Serena Williams dancing and twerking and model Winnie Harlow, known for challenging the fashion world's take on what is considered beauty by confidently revealing her own skin disease to her own husband, Jay-Z, and an ode to the Black Lives Matter movement, haunting images of mothers holding portraits of the sons they lost. But what everyone is talking about is how personal some of the lyrics seem to be. On the track, Sorry, Beyonce sings about a woman she says cheated with her man. You better call Becky with the good hair. The internet on fire over who Becky is. So when this Instagram post by fashion designer Rachel Roy appeared, the internet buzzed with speculation. The caption saying, good hair, don't care, but we will take good lighting for selfies or self-truths always. What some saw as cracks in Beyonce's marriage to Jay-Z were also center stage over a year ago in that infamous elevator incident obtained by TMZ, showing Beyonce's sister, Solange Knowles, lashing out at Jay while Beyonce stands by. In the aftermath, the trio released this statement. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in the public. They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. On the blog Bustle, Erica Turner writes, the album is a true celebration of black women. We are used to having the experiences of white women and the experiences of, of people who are white centralized. And I think what Beyonce is saying, no, 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 no. I'm going to centralize black women. This weekend, fans took to social media to express just how they feel about the controversy, even turning on Roy to defend their Queen Bay. The fashion designer, who has not indicated any relationship with Jay-Z, had had enough by Sunday afternoon, tweeting, I respect love, marriages, families, and strength. What shouldn't be tolerated by anyone, no matter what, is bullying of any kind. I met Roy last year at her Manhattan studio as she was preparing her new line. Her designs have been worn by Michelle Obama and plenty of Hollywood fashionistas. Every celebrity out there, Kate Hudson, Kim Kardashian, Gwyneth Paltrow, they have all been photographed in your clothes. Yeah. That must feel amazing. It absolutely does feel amazing. Rachel is part of Kim Kardashian's inner circle, toasting her engagement to Kanye West on keeping up with the Kardashians. Both of you are such an example of love. Requests for comment from Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Roy have gone unanswered. But back to the music. Okay, ladies, now let's get information. Beyonce's album got a massive kickoff at the Super Bowl. My daddy, Alabama. My Beyonce making the infectious beat of formation free to fans on Tidal, the streaming service partially owned by husband Jay-Z. But Beyonce's Lemonade did not come for free. It first hit Tidal exclusively on Saturday night. Sunday at midnight, music fans using other services could purchase the album on iTunes for $17.99. Beyonce's move to title is part of the ongoing streaming wars for exclusivity, cutting deals with artists to release their music ahead of other streaming services that provide the music to the fans, like Spotify and iTunes. Having any kind of Beyonce exclusive is a big deal for anyone. She's arguably the biggest artist in the entire world right now. Beyonce is a shareholder in Tidal. I think a Beyonce album was something that she has an interest in. It is an artist-owned company. The streaming wars heated up in 2014 when Taylor Swift left a blank space on Spotify, pulling all of her music from the streaming music site. Purple rain, purple rain. And 
for those trying to reminisce about Prince's legendary Purple Rain this weekend, they had to go to Tidal as well, since Prince also famously pulled his music off Spotify. But by midnight on Sunday, Beyonce released Lemonade to iTunes, and in just a few hours, it skyrocketed to number one. For Beyonce, none of the rules matter. All she needs to be able to do is get her music to people in a way that will benefit her as much as possible. Over the weekend, the album going viral. Hashtag Lemonade trending number one worldwide. Everybody wants to know what Beyonce feels. Everybody wants to know what Beyonce is experiencing. And Beyonce is saying, OK, this is what black women are feeling. This is what black women are experiencing. Watch them. And bringing back hashtag black girl magic, once again, empowering black women. Hashtag black girl magic is really about celebrating everyday power um, and the everyday sort of resilience of black women. If the early tracks of Lemonade feel bitter, it's eventually sweetened with the cut all night. Home movies of Beyonce and Jay-Z's wedding the couple celebrating a birthday of their daughter, Blue Ivy, and footage of Jay-Z playing with her on the football field. And for the woman who's not done a major televised interview in years, Beyonce is able to control her own narrative, speaking to her fans through her lyrics and making art at the same time. For Nightline, I'm Rebecca Jarvis in New York.